How you doing backers? Okay, so um, today um, we're going to be uh, doing uh, macaroni cheese. I know I've uh, done this before, but uh, this time we are going to oven bake macaroni cheese. Um, okay, before I get into this video, an announcement. Um, I've reached over 3,000 uh, subscribers on YouTube and also um, I've uh, received a whopping 175 uh, views and uh, also I've uh, got 1,000 hours of watch time. Okay, so thank you so much you guys. Okay. So basically just like the video I did last year, you need uh, 225 grams of macaroni, also 225 grams of grated cheese and uh, some extra cheese for the topping as well this time. Um, okay, um, 55 grams of butter, um, 30 grams of uh, plain flour, okay. So um, that's about it, let's get cracking. Oh yeah, and uh, you can also uh, use uh, some more Worcester sauce with this, um, but that is uh, totally optional, uh, that's up to you guys, it's, it just uh, adds uh, to the flavour of the cheese, that's all, but I'm going to use it anyway. Okay, so... Uh, what you do uh, is uh, boil some uh, water in the pan. What I like doing is um, I like uh, boiling of the water in the kettle first and, and put some salt in because uh, uh, boiling it in the kettle first uh, it makes the water go uh, boiling and bubbly uh, qu a lot quicker. Right, so uh, once uh, the water's at a hot bubbling temperature, um, I've put the macaronis in and um, and leaving them to cook for eight minutes, uh, giving it a little stir from time to time. Okay, so um, now that the eight minutes is up, um, I'm going to cool it off with water so that it won't continue to cook. So now on with uh, the cheese sauce. So uh, what I'm doing now is uh, I'm uh, melting uh, the butter in a saucepan now. Okay. Right, so what I'm doing now is um, I'm sieving in uh, a plain flour. Um, okay. This can be a bit of a struggle because of the steam from the, the, the heat, um, but it's very important to sieve really because. Um, you don't want any impurities, uh, lumps or rebels uh, in your cooking. Okay, so uh, it is absolutely very important that you sieve. Okay, so uh, start stirring until it is uh, smoother like this. Right, okay, so what I'm doing now is uh, slowly pouring in uh, the milk and uh, I'm going to stir as well as I'm pour, pouring it in. Right, so okay, so what I'm doing now is uh, mixing it until, uh, until the mixture is uh, bubbling. Right, now that it's bubbling, uh, 
I'm going to pour, pour the grated cheese in. And um, it should uh, melt uh, pretty quickly because uh, it's so hot and uh, because it's so hot the uh, mixture it should it, uh, melt pretty quickly so we've got yeah and it's all melting away very nicely I, I've uh, placed the macaronis um, evenly in uh, in a uh, casserole thingy, a, a baking tray or whatever you want to call it, uh, whatever you want to use, uh, either a casserole dish or whatever. Um, okay, so I've put them in there. Right, okay, so I've spread uh, the cheese sauce evenly as possible uh, over all the macaronis okay right now I'm uh, going to uh, sprinkle some uh, extra cheese uh, grated cheese uh, over the sauce and uh, the macaronis uh, okay for the topping as well okay. all right so uh, now I'm gonna sprinkle some uh, Worcestershire sauce over the grated cheese uh, to add a little extra flavor okay Now I'm going to place it into the oven and uh, I'm going to place it in the oven for for 15 minutes on 180 degrees heat. Right, uh, so uh, it should be uh, brown and golden like this uh, after the 15 minutes. Uh, otherwise uh, just uh, place it uh, back into the oven for a few minutes. Okay. Okay. So thank you again for 3,000 subscribers and uh, 175,000 uh, views and uh, 1,000 hours of uh, public watch time. Okay. So uh, remember, if you're learning, if you want to learn to cook, or have autism and want to learn to cook, um, okay. Remember that I have your back.